Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Rickmaster Nate, and today I have an unboxing video of the LEGO Iron Man mech. So this set retails for $10 and has 148 pieces, and the box shows off the mech and the minifigure in the bottom right corner. Let's get right into it. So inside there were three numbered bags and this really huge instructions. Let's get to the speed build. So first let's take a look at the minifigure. So this Iron Man is the same one that's been included in most Iron Man related sets lately. The printing on the body and back look pretty cool, but the helmet is still the same old weird one with this new mold that doesn't have the opening faceplate. And underneath the helmet, there's this dual sided face that has Tony Stark's face and the other side is with his heads up display. I like that they included these pieces right here that go on the hands. There's some pretty cool molded in details. And the way these things work is that you just push on them like this and they are supposed to shoot off the hands but it doesn't always work very well. Now let's take a look at the mech itself. So this build uses a lot of really cool pieces in red and there's something about red lego pieces that are just so cool to me especially when the weirder pieces come in this color there's a lot of dark red and regular red mixed together and in some cases that's good like the iron man figure but in this case for the mech i don't think it really worked that well because this piece right here is just so much of the bright red, but down on the bottom, there's a lot of the dark red and it just doesn't mix very well to me. There's also some gold sprinkled around. They used these gold bars for the details and I thought that was pretty cool. And right here, there's a sticker. And there's also some at the feet. And this piece right here is actually not a sticker, which is kind of surprising. And I don't really understand why sometimes pieces are printed or their stickers, but there's probably something to do with the fact that there's some silver in this, so a sticker probably wouldn't work the same. A cool new piece that I've never seen before, but has probably been included in sets before, is this cannon on top. And what you can do is push on this piece in the back, and then it shoots out these one by one round tiles. And the cool thing about this one is that there's three of them included and you can shoot them off one by one or all at once. And I like this cannon more than stud shooters. And what you lose by using this one is the subtlety of the stud shooters. 
because with stud shooters you can just easily remove them if you really wanted to but if not they still just kind of look like cool details but for this it looks really big and ugly and there's not very much you can do with it for display wise I really like the way that they built the shins this piece right here is really cool and it fits well with the build and I also like all these angled pieces on the side right here a problem that I have with the build is the hips right here the way that the legs are attached to the main part of the body is through this piece with the three balls and the technical in the middle and the reason why I don't really like this is because this right here is really loose and it turns really easily and the connection between the leg with this socket connecting to this ball is pretty weak and I don't really understand why but there's just some difference between this connecting to here and the way that the knee or any other joint really feels probably has something to do with the fact that this thing is connecting the entire leg while most other joints are usually connecting much less than just an entire limb to put the figure inside you just pull this thing open and place him in and he fits in there with no problems and you can even put him in with those blue pieces still attached And inside, I think he looks pretty cool. The helmet still looks kind of weird. It doesn't fit well with this mech. So what I like to do is I like to take this helmet, which is obviously not included in the set, but I like to replace it with this one. And to me, this looks a lot better and it just matches with the rest of the build a bit better. Even with the figure, I think it looks cooler. And overall, I just like this piece a lot more. So here it is compared to the Thor mech. So right away, something that I noticed was that the frame is practically identical. And I'm not talking about the features or the big parts of the build, such as the cannon versus the hammer, just the frame and what makes up the basic parts of the limbs and stuff. And that's to be expected but I wish there was some variety in the way that it was built because something like this versus an Iron Man mech, there should be some kind of difference. Overall, this is a really good value for what you're getting. You have a minifigure and an entire mech to go with it. There's a lot of cool play features which is this piece right here, and you can have the cannon on top. And there's a lot of joints, so you can pose it however you want. And the stickers are also a nice touch, which makes it good for display. That's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Also, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to check out my other LEGO Marvel sets. Thanks for watching. Bye.